That TV show idea is so lame. It's... It's Bootsy. Bootsy? Yeah, it's street, dude. I would try and do what you suggested. More street, less leet. Ah, good for you. Now about the show. Not gonna happen. Little Brum, Andrew, we don't actually need your cooperation. The meeting in there was simply a courtesy meeting to get you on board. We don't really need your approval. Marvin's a Stud Records owns Little Brum. You don't own me. No man owns me. You know what that's called? It's called slavery. My brother Martin Luther King Jr. abolished that in America hundreds of years ago. Uh, we don't actually own you as a person. We own the name Little Brum. You can't own my name. Well, we do. And that's why there's going to be a show whether you like it or not. Fine. But you're gonna have to show me a whole lot of cabbage to get me to play the part. Oh. We weren't actually gonna have you star in it. That's what the casting call is for. What? Well, you know, you're a great rapper. But the TV people weren't too confident in your acting abilities. Haven't they seen my music videos? I think that's part of the problem. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll get you an audition. I have to audition? To play myself? Why should you get special treatment? Um, cause I'm Lil Brum. I'm bout it, bout it. Well then, you should have nothing to worry about it, about it. Are you mocking me? Yes, I'm mocking you. Bro, you tell those TV people if they want to use my name, they'd better cast me. All I can promise you is to get you an audition. Now, get out of here, I got some phone calls to make. Fine. <clears throat> Rosen, jerk records. Didn't you just call me like an hour ago? Yeah, sorry I'm exceeding my two phone call a week limit, but uh, this is important. Are you terribly busy? Yeah, I'm kind of pinned down right now. Okay, let me make it quick. First of all, I am a genius. He hated the TV show idea in the meeting. He wants nothing to do with it. So, I employed a little reverse psychology and told him he's not even going to be considered for the role. That drove him crazy. Now he's demanding it. And that's clever, is it? You don't think so? Not clever enough to bother me with, no. What else did he have? So it's about Little Brum. I told him the company owns his name, and he seems to genuinely believe it's his real name. So what? The process appears to have been more effective on him. Weaker mind. I like that last guy. He was trouble. Better rapper, though. It's a shame to lose him. Little Brum is rolling in the dough just as well. Maybe better. True. It amazes me the sort of garbage that passes for entertainment in this country. But, uh, I guess we won't have to worry about him snapping anymore. And we can stop shadowing him. I'll let security know. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let me do it. I enjoy firing people. Really, sir? No, don't do it that way. It's brutal out there. Uh, Mar Mar Marvin? Hey, Rome. Check out this piece of concept art I have commissioned. Try and get in the TV show. What is this? It's my gang boss. Your gang boss. Yeah. Yeah. Gang boss. Next! Stan. So trying out for Little Brum next, we have <coughs> Little Brum. Uh, what's your real name? Little Brum. No. Not your stage name, your real name. Little Brum is my real name. Little Brum. It's, it's Brum. <laughs> you really want this part, don't you? <laughs> Okay, little Brum, uh, we're just gonna have a cold read of the script. Um, it's a dialogue, so you can have your agent here read the other part. Just go ahead and read it to the end, and um, you can start when you're ready. I'm standing in for his mom. It's only as awkward as you want it to be. Right. All right, I'm ready. <clears throat> Mom, why you want to send me to Orange County? Everyone there's got fake tans. Because I'm concerned for your health and safety. Mom, my relatives are so lame. And rich. I make money just fine on the streets. You almost got caught after you said Cut! 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 Little, little Brum, or whatever your name is. Do you have to do that? What? Stop channeling William Shatner or whatever do you, it is you think is acting. I'm not acting. I'm being myself. See? Right there. Do that. 
act normal instead of whatever you were doing or whatever it is you think you were doing. All right, continue. <clears throat> the streets are my home, Mom. You can't ask me to leave that behind just like that, just because of one little incident. I can, and I am, because I'm your mother. I love you, and I want what's best for you. You don't love me. If you love me, you would understand that staying on these streets is the only way I can pursue my dream of becoming an MC. This is my okay. only- Okay. <laughs> That's all I need. Thank you, little brown. We're done? Yeah. Do I get the part? I'll let your agent know within 48 hours. Cool, let's go. <clears throat> I think that went pretty well, don't you? <laughs> uh, turns out they cast somebody else. Wasn't he supposed to get the part? Yeah, but he was... He was bad. Like, really bad. Like, I don't even blame the studio for casting someone else. Like, that bad. So your brilliant plan backfired. Genius. Why do I care? Well, I'm just concerned about what he'll do when he finds out. I haven't told him yet. I've been able to dodge a question for about a week. But I'm sure there's going to be an announcement soon somewhere, and he's going to find out. Bro! I didn't get the part! Gotta go. You said you'd get me in! I said I'd get you in for an audition. Have you seen the dweeb they got to play me? Okay, little Brom, dweeb, that's not very street. I said some other things, but my public said I shouldn't, because I'm popular with the kids. You see this? They gave me a new look. You think this guy's cool? You think he's cooler than me? My publicist is more hardcore than this kid. You sold out to them. I warned you about selling out. See what happened? Little Brom, is it really that big a deal? Of course it is! Rap is all about cred and image. And you just took my cred and you spent it on a cute little plush puppy dog. Then you took my image and you crumple it up into a little piece of paper. You threw it at the trash can, but you missed. So you picked it up off the ground. You uncrumpled it. You folded it into a paper doll. This paper doll. And let me tell you something, you may not have known this growing up in Niceville Heights, but rappers are not paper dolls or puppy dogs. Well, I have little to no idea what you just said. I want to talk to Marvin. Dude, I barely get to talk to Marvin. Listen, Ro, I'm done with you. If you're not going to give me the respect I deserve, I'm going straight to the top. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Well? He didn't answer. Now riddle me this time, West. Where does Marvin live? Can't say. Can't or won't? Both. You better tell me this, Ro, and you better tell me. What's his home phone, his dentist, his license plate, his gamer tag, his shoe size? Gamer tag? Yeah, for online video game playing. Ugh, Marvin doesn't have time for video games. He's far too busy for that. He's far too busy to even come to his office here. All right, Ro. Tell me where he's busy. Where can I find him? Where can I find some answers? 